So we all know the Howling Peaks DLC is coming on December 9th. And this is extremely exciting because, I mean, it's six days away. Today's December 3rd. Fantastic. Uh, well, just the look of it looks really fun. And the fact that it's got a lot of puzzles and just a lot of weird different mechanics as well. The wind mechanics, this is very unique. It makes the, makes the DLC very unique. And a nice new fresh game to play is always fun. And in the same way, a fresh new DLC is always fun to play. So I'm really excited for that. But we have some new information, or at least I made a hypothesis on what the Nether update could look like in the future. In fact, I'm actually thinking that it could be the next update. Now, I have some pictures here just for you guys to look at. I've showed you before. And there was some gameplay during the Minecon Live event that talked about the Nether update. Well, actually, didn't talk about it necessarily, but showed gameplay, some pre-alpha footage on the game, and it looked really cool. Here we have another picture, and the imagery on the Nether is just, it looks fantastic. Because with the ray tracing, it just looks fantastic anyway, and it definitely looks like the nether. One thing I really like about it is the fact that it is the nether update that we have in Minecraft. Everything is updated, and it looks really good. It looks really nice. It feels like you're actually in the nether, just like you're in the game. And obviously, I haven't been able to play it because it's not out yet, but when it does come out, I'm really excited to play it thing is, I'm kind of thinking that it's not going to be on the map of the game. What I mean is, specifically, is that the DLCs normally are on the map, as usual, just like the main island. When you go on the map, you see the main island, then you can go click over to the island realms. Here you'll be able to see, which currently have three DLCs, Howling Peaks being the third one, and it looks like there is still some space for some more DLCs, but what I did find was, and a lot of people found a long time ago, was the nether portal broken apart down on the right from the camp. If you move from the main camp down to the right, you can see there are some pistons to jump over and go across, and then you'll eventually find a nether portal. Now this nether portal is broken apart, like I said, and the thing is, why would that be there if it wasn't going to be used? Obviously, a long time ago, people were thinking there could be another DLC just by looking at that. And here we go. It's here. We're going to have another update eventually. But what I'm thinking is that you will be entering the nether portal to get to that map and be able to click on the different levels to start. Normally, you would go to the little bench and there you would go to the map to see all the different levels but I'm thinking you would go to the portal which once the nether DLC is out you'll be able to see it it's not broken anymore it's fixed it's activated you go through it and there you'll be able to pick your level and play another thing I noticed is all of these different kinds of DLCs all three of these DLCs are part of the overworld the main island is the overworld and as you look at the map, you can see the main island map, and then you go over to the island realms map, and all three of these, currently three, are all overworld related. Now what I'm thinking is, with the water DLC coming up, that could fit in the island realms area, be put somewhere, the, the little icon to show, okay, these are where the levels are, just like we have with the ice, the jungle, and the Howling Peaks DLC, but instead there'll be another location specifically for water, and now what I'm thinking is you'll have to go to the nether portal, and there you'll be able to go travel and be able to see perhaps world realms instead of island realms, and there you'll be able to see the nether and the end. Or out of nowhere there will be an end portal on the camp to where you can jump into there and there you'll be able to find some new worlds to play in the new end update. Now I don't necessarily know when the nether DLC is going to happen but most likely it's going to happen sometime in 2021. I don't see them making 
another DLC this same month because the Howling Peaks is already coming December 9th. I don't see there being another DLC or any DLC coming, say, December 30th or something. You know, sometime in 2020. I don't see that happening. So most likely what I'm going to think is sometime in, perhaps sometime in March because the DLC, it looks like it's already being put in progress. They're already starting it and they already have enemies they've shown they've already got some gameplay so I reckon there's not going to be too much they're dealing with right now it seems that they're just probably fixing a lot of bugs maybe adding more levels maybe this is they maybe they only have one level right now currently but they're going and doing more levels I don't know but I reckon it's obviously going to be 2021 when 2021 like I said, I'm thinking probably March. I'm not exactly sure, obviously, but I'll be sure to keep you updated on more Minecraft Dungeons DLC updates. So if you're interested in that, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, click that notification bell because you don't want to miss a single video, and have a fantastic day. Be safe out there, guys.